you ever feel like an alien on the planet Earth? Yes. There's the man of the hour. That's Jonathan Hunt. You might know him as Junt from the TV. Or John from the real life. <laughs> <laughs> you and me slept the whole way home from Maine last night after Thanksgiving. But here we are, it's 7.30, and off we go to Warwick Mall. Off we go! This is our, I think, our eighth year doing this. Retail has kind of changed so much that what's left of this, yeah. you know? I was recently watching the Kmart Midnight one we did, and like, compared the excitement for retail. You might find face cloth somewhere else, we don't know. <laughs> We're actually gonna go across the way to the Kmart because they have face cloths free for $1.75. When was the last time you went to the Warwick Mall? Uh, when I used to work in Warwick, so before 2007. I'm not really buying much of anything anymore, right. you know? I am actually slightly in the market for a new TV. 77 inch TV. You know what I buy on Black Friday? What? Digital downloads for like Switch games. Okay, yeah, that's a good thing to buy. Or, or like I buy Steam games. I love, you know, I play a lot of games on Steam. Same kind of idea. Nina always, once we get some coffee in this girl, <laughs> she was driving She's all night. ready to deal. <laughs> the Starbucks situation is untenable. Yeah, untenable. Can you go in? I mean, I, let's check. Why would you ever sit through this crap? Mom? I guess if you're addicted to coffee. It's not that like, good. It's not, no. You say retail is dead and stuff, but like, People still line up to get crap. Dunkin' Donuts lines are like this now. Yeah? Yes. This is why things don't improve. Because people are perfectly happy to line up for Dunkin' Donuts. Staples is not open. Are they closed for No, and they, but they've been emailing me like mad. Telling like, you that they're gonna be open at some point? It's Black Friday. <laughs> you know, Staples is having a lot of trouble. I'm surprised that they have anybody. Uh, th this might be paid. They might have like paid people to come people stand People are out buying here. label makers. We've had a fun at Staples. Yes. <laughs> as much as can be had at Staples. <laughs> I don't know how much fun we had. Well, I had a lot of fun. Just a few years back, we were in there at midnight. We were. One thing I will say about Starbucks, yeah. their Christmas decor game is on point. Now, you look inside here to answer me this. Yeah. Why would you ever sit in the drive-thru? 15 people in the drive-thru. <laughs> a couple people in here. We placed our order in like less than two minutes. Oh, wait a minute. I want to wait in line in my car. I wonder if people like don't think it's open inside. Like this is a nice interior. It's a yeah. nice looking store. Right. You know? Like why not just pop in? She's giving me the business that she wants a real tree. She's unhappy with fake trees? She said, oh, but that's a fake tree. And I said, we have a fake tree. And she said, I want a real tree. You want to go cut down a tree in the forest and bring it back to our house? Mm -hmm. If you want a real tree, we'll do a real tree. We'll do it. What did you get? A sugar cookie. Why would you get an iced on a day like today? Because I'm in New England. I got a nice hot chocolate. Look, red and green sprinkles. This is a sugar cookie. Bye. Look, there's a fair amount of cars at the Warwick Mall. There's quite a few. Look, these ladies are already done. I'm totally juiced up. I drank the whole thing. Back to 100%. <laughs> you feel like that guy? I am him. I'm ready. Wow. Did you know there was a carousel here? I've been in this food court. I've eaten here. I don't remember a carousel. It's named the Carousel Food Court. What's the big sale? Any big sales at the Cox store? I don't remember this carousel at all. I'm sure it's been here since the 90s. But... It's unopened. How do you want to do this? We should go around an edge. Is it just me or are there kind of more like lesser known or private brands in mall food courts now? Pizza Bella? I well, think that like the spaces are cheaper right. now because small mm. square footage is not as expensive and as it used to be. And it's so much more expensive to have a standalone restaurant. Yes. Yeah. The Little Tokyo, they said nay nay. They said no 9 a.m. No 9 a.m. tempura. Look, a little teeny tiny honey bowl. And you can get a holiday gift basket at the teeny tiny. Is there any more Christmassy store than Macy's? Look, I'm, I'm seeing this visage and I love it. I, I wasn't feeling super Christmassy looking this way. I was feeling very Christmassy looking that way. The lights are on the door, like trees in the distance even. I don't want a lot for Christmas. How about Leggings World? Yeah, nothing but butts. This feels like where you would go to buy your wife's Christmas present, like perfume and jewelry and a scarf, right? Like a middle-aged man walks up to uh, the jewelry counter and says- Give me one of each. What yeah. does she smell like? What does my wife like? <laughs> this Black Friday, stay away from each other. Six footsteps on each other's backs. Extra 15 off 10 with your credit card or coupon exclusions apply. It gets really complicated. You need a Black Friday calculator. He wants to go in there because of the Christmas. It's working on him. See? He's gonna buy something for my wife. <laughs> my well, wife? <laughs> Does smell like perfume. Do you even know what you're looking for? Ornaments? Yeah. We're going <laughs> I've walked into the Macy's and realized that, oh, this is Macy's. Like there's nothing really for me. Here for me. What's going on with that thing? <laughs> sterling silver and sterling silver plated. 
Yeah. Extra discount should not apply. You're like, well, I know that I like 75% off something, barely not sterling. silver plated jewelry. <laughs> I barely want that for free. Nina, you found your new outfit. What the? I barely know what I'm looking at. Like, I know I was left behind by fashion like a long time ago. This is a shirt that's nipples only. Yeah, they just poke through right there and there. <laughs> Your arms will be warm and your shoulders. Or if you have a fat fold above the tummy, it, that fat fold can pop out right there. For cooling, for cooling for the tummy. <laughs> you can actually let the nipples out on the left and right. Sure, if you, if you desire, you just pop it in a little. For many years now, hasn't it been cold shoulder tops? Like they cut the shoulder out, but then you get the rest of the Look, shirt? Nina, you're asking the wrong human. That is so 2016. When was the last time you were on an escalator? 2018? Yeah, probably. Well, so how's it feel being back? Uh, I don't like escalators in general, so. <laughs> He's back, baby. Oh, wow, this is Christmas Eve. Aww, $22 with 60% off? Nina, that's cheap enough to buy. If you really, 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 really want that penguin. It would be like $13. I sort of like this. Tacky. I thought all this stuff was stuck on shipping containers or something. Nina, there's plenty of retail available. It just might not be the retail you want. I mean, I'm yeah. sure they have stuff stored. Some of this stuff may very well be from last year. We oh, how know. tacky. How tacky. I can't have how good. from last year. Yeah. I need the 2021 seasons where I can let out my nips. Look, piles of pants. The jeans have been picked through. They've been picked through. They look like they fell off that the shipping to, container. That needs, <laughs> that needs to be freshened. Christmas pants. Ooh, I would get Christmas PJ pants for it's sure. Very, very soft. Evaluating pants. softness. Oh, too soft. It's so soft that like the tiny imperfections in my like fingers like get caught on them. Oh, that's true. See, this is more my my texture. He wants his clothes to feel like bedding. I do. This is 10 bucks. Too cheap. It does kind of feel like they're getting rid of stuff. The deals do feel awful good. Nina, I want to see you dressing like this. Mask and all. Hat pulled down over my face. Very hot. Yeah, overheating. Here's some ornaments for you. I mean, they're they're licensed ornaments, so you're not going to like any of them. Oh uh, yeah, I don't like any of them. Did you need a few minions on your Christmas tree? The only licensed ornament I have on my tree is a Pusheen, and I'm happy to have it. I don't know if I care for the cinnamon snowman. Oh, they're Sand. beach. Okay. You thought they were cinnamon? Look, I don't know. It was a sandy that. snowman. I love a good home, good. This is very Nina, these this kinds of coats. cover your whole body. Your whole existence. 60% off of $440. Holy crap. I was gonna say like a hundred bucks. No. Shows what I know. I, I mean, how much does the original price affect you? Not at all, especially here. When it comes to uh, cyber deals on video games, yeah. I've noticed that the original price does tend to be accurate. Yes. I'm like, that is what it they normally never is. never discount. This does appeal. Pots, pans. I need it all. Last year was a big deal at L.L. Bean. You bought that big blankie. Do you still use the blankie? I do, I do. It's a great blankie. I thought you had plenty of granny square blankie. Oh, oh. I have plenty. I have a lifetime supply. You know, I do have nieces and nephews to shop for, so. Mm -hmm. No cheeses for us nieces? I'll probably just order on Amazon, though. That's the sad reality. It would be the wrong time wrong place <laughs> yes you know shopping i would probably buy something large and i have to lug it around yeah that's the problem how much do you think that affects the average shopper probably not much i'm lazy i'm in pretty good shape and that would deter me yeah like there's nice stuff but i can have the stuff delivered to my door it's sad but yeah. it's the reality buy a huge gift and lug it around then <laughs> you get a rocket and you get markers in it that's cool Just my kid would enjoy it because she loves markers and then she would like the toy element fao fao short so since that's they closed all the toy stores now they're just a toy brand now now they dump into department stores yeah just like you know every other brand kohl's is like that too their toy section looks like this fashion design your own sneakers whoa but i remember but I drawing on my sneakers yeah. as a kid i think that's the thing that now you can do it do. officially it was against the rules now it is the rule a santa mail mailbox you guys oh yeah maybe so what happens next? And what creepy employee reads it? So basically, they count them up, they grind oh, it, them, it, and they make a donation. It, yeah, right. Well, you didn't buy anything, but did it did it give you a Christmas injection? It did actually. And then you back out where it smells like Annie's pretzels. It really exudes. I think they have like generators for bread scent that like, like push Disney? up. How oh, they put out like the cookie yes. smell on Main Street. All right, here's your old name. More bedding clothing. Lazy, yeah. There's a lot of clothing that is nicely styled, but just not available in very fat sizes. I would buy something like that. There's a solution for that. I know, I'm working on it. Does this not say glory to you? What does 50% mean to me? It means it's still $15. That's more, you could just buy her one of the ones in Macy's and let her grow into it. <laughs> Hey, that's how I dress. This is called a shacket. <laughs> Nicely material. That she and I could match. My kids' dresses 
like I did in the 80s. Ooh, a waffle knit is nice. It does look nice. He's even got accessory flannel just to tie around his waist. Jeez, that kid is cool. Setting him up for success with the girls later. Yes. No way Gloria leaves the house with like a jacket <laughs> and like a look. There's a sign over there. It says wreath snuggle the softness. That is my kind of philosophy. There's a store yep. that has local ornaments and we're going to go to it. When I bought you your Bennies and your Ann and Hope, that was from here. Oh, wow. It's the original Ann and Hope logo. Bennies! Box lunch. What's like, that? I don't know. Is there box mac in there? Oh, yeah. Now, what is box lunch? I need to see this. It looks kind of Newberry comics ish. But I think it's more focused on clothing with just a little bit of merch and really anime focused. Yeah. Matt Zagar's name is all over. <laughs> it sure does. Merry Christmas, Matt. There's a whole McDonald's section, you guys. I'm loving it. Look at this. What's going on? This show mm -hmm. came out in 2011. You could really still market these things. Is it Naruto? At the front? No, it's, it's called Hunter x Hunter. Great show. Mm -hmm. Winnie the Pooh section. I like the sectionality of it. Winnie the That's Pooh, cute. Hunter x Thompson. Yeah. What was it called? <laughs> Hunter x Hunter. And then like cool. a McDonald's section. Yeah. Matt Zagar's all over the show. He would love this. The Vision and the Scarlet Witch. Yeah. Sailor Moon section. This place is cool. If you're kind of sick of Newberry Comics, which I am. It feels very much like Etsy in a store. It feels like the sort of things you would go looking for for somebody that's hard to buy, and you're like, well, I'll get them this unique little thing. Yeah. This to me says just high schooler, like today's high schooler. It's weird for me as a fan of pop culture and somebody who's enjoyed stuff like this at one time yep. to be like, yeah, but I'm not today's high schooler. Yeah. So I'm adjacent to this merchandise. Yes. But it's not, it's not hitting the bullseye of me. This is interesting. Aw, uh, I do like the gizmo. That is cute. Well, it's look just... right next to it. This beautiful duct tape. That is so cool. <laughs> Goof troop up here. Remember when you had a potato head backpack? I did, but it was plushy and big. You guys just opened a month ago? Yes. So much really, like, interesting inventory I haven't seen. That's we were thinking really cool. it was sort of similar to, like, Newberry Comics, but more focused. Um, we're sister stores with Hot Topic, actually. Oh, okay. We're more family-friendly. That's my kind of thing right there. <laughs> Love it. Beetlejuice just the animated series. Yeah. If Matt Zagar had a son, <laughs> this is the sort of thing you see in FYE. Obligatory nightmare. And look, they're doing well. They got a line. I feel like I would have spent all my money here in high school. Oh, yeah. And then over here, you got kind of the much more corporate version of the same thing. It feels more soulless to me. At this point, do, does FYE even have DVD? They do. DVDs are valueless. And yet, that's all you can do for me? How about buy one, get one free? How about 90% off all DVDs? 90? Yeah, sell DVDs them again. free with purchase of a pop. One thing FYE really has is a lot of novelty food, like like bizarre, gigantic Reese's peanut butter cups. I got those for five dollars at the discount grocery store. Yeah. Yeah. Buy one get one five times the price. Oh my god. Not to like diss the employees, but it looks a little shabby. Like the carpets and bad shape. The carpet. This is a blast from the past. If you walk away in the back, you can get to some Blu-rays. What's it called? Me? Do you? <laughs> That's how much store there is before you get to it. It used to be like all this. And look, and then the first thing they sell you, anime. Yep. But the fun coats are all the way in the back, like the milk in the back of the grocery store. It's what you really want, but... So you have to go all the way through the store. That's a perfect analogy. Funkos are the milk of pop culture. Yes, they are. I can tell you, as somebody who continues to buy Blu-rays yeah. on special occasions, yeah. I've yet to ever buy a, a 4K Ultra HD. Really? Uh, yeah, I don't have any. Just no interest? I don't have any TVs, nor do I care. No, I don't care either. Yeah. 1080 is, is all I need. This section is, is where I zoom in. Unique novelty stuff is I think where, for me, the value is. And now you can go to box but uh, this stuff is already appealing to me more. This is made for us. <laughs> yeah, this sucks. This sucks. I think it's cute. Come on. They should have called it a literal dumpster fire. That would have been better. Fifty Shades. Three movie collection. Nice. For, for way too much money. Can you imagine? $27, please. There's CDs behind us. Nina found The Land Before Time complete collection. How many? How many? Are in How can you call it complete when 10? they make a new one every year? 11? Yeah. How many? 14. Yes, you knew that? Yeah, I knew that. Oh. For 60 bucks, you can get all the Jurassic Parks on Blu-ray. For 30 bucks, four Shreks. On DVD, a K-pop section. This is clearly like the influence of that one band, BTS. You never would have K-pop in a store. Well, but it is a very, very popular thing, isn't it? Not? It wasn't. Um, until, until BTS became a cult. I used to buy DVDs all the time. Yeah. FYE was always so ridiculously overpriced. Yeah. Their new releases were $30 yeah. habitually. 
and you could just go to Best Buy and get it for 20. Is it so wrong that I continue to be appealed to things like an NES controller welcome mat? Look, I love that you could still buy a Billy Joel album. This appeals to me, all this Halloween stuff. You can get a deluxe edition Krampus on the mantle. A pumpkin spice latte stuffed squishy. That's cute. cute. With, the, with the pumpkin. This looks disgusting. Massive fruits. All right, should we go pick up some CBD? You know, I, I, I don't know what the big deal about it is. I don't know why everybody's so excited. There's a whole store over there, CBD Center. You know, there was a guy, intimidated looking guy, standing out front trying to drum up business. So that's the best way to keep me out of your store. This is the place. This is the place. My Where place is Rhode Island? Island? The Rhode Island Duncan sweatshirt. It is a state. It's not an island. It's not part of Europe. That makes me hungry for funny bones. It does. Instead of waffle, you get your awful potholes. I like that shirt. An arrangement of <laughs> Dell's lemonade packs. The great flood of uh, 2010, when the water was probably this high in the mall. Oh my God. Rocky Point State Park. It serves a prime example of why you need a little music in your store. Yeah. It's a little kind of creepy. And it irritating. pushes you out. Educational games. It has an appealing pop-up look to it. There's something I'm kind of looking for. I was thinking about getting a Farside calendar, but do I really need one? You want to like, chuckle at Farside comics every, do. every day? I could just do it online, though. That's the problem, isn't it? No, you need novelties in your life. Maybe I could get two, since it's buy one, get one 50% off. Yeah. And get a word of the day calendar. But it has to have good words, because I know a lot of words. I love this game. Well, should we buy it and play it with our kid? It's basically like a clue, but there is a mousetrap element to it, where you set off different things That's fun. to kill people. Oh, mousetrap is right above. Ah, uh, yeah. I feel like I could probably go on Amazon and get that cheaper. So if you took 25% off it, I might buy it today. You, 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 you have to make me buy two calendars? I'm not gonna gift anyone in my life a calendar. <laughs> oh, she, you know what? She would actually love Hungry Hungry. That would be a great Christmas gift for her. No joke, it's easy to play, it's super fun. She can pull it out, it's small. She loves the giant one in Dave and Buster's. Uh, is it half off? We don't know. Nina makes a bigger effort than I do to not shop from evil Amazon. What are you gonna do? Like go home, look it up on Amazon, order it, be you. I just ordered the first account. Really? You're awful. For 1349. I have a game night every week. So. Hey, what's your favorite board game? You get it out of here. The blockbuster VHS of Peter Pan, but it's a puzzle. puzzle. That is pretty cool. And you can do the same with your with your fun sized boxes of cereal. That I almost thought was cereal for a moment, so I'm a little confused. But this I like. Oh, it's silly sand. You know, it's that moldable, yeah. fun sand, no? So Nina paid thirty-one oh one for the whoopee cushion and Hungry Hungry Hippos. The whoopee cushion was $2. Yeah, you got a fine deal. I thought John was going to say, oh, well, if you sell your soul to Satan, you can get it for half off. No, it's it's about the same price on Amazon. But Hungry Hungry Hippos is fun. Yes, great game. Because you barely have to play it. Yeah. You, you just, just smash it. Yeah, you just press button. There's a line, and I don't know if it's for Bath and Body Works. I thought it might be for Santa, but I don't see any kids. It's Bath and Body Works. I think they might have an occupant limit. And there's some cuteness going on here. Some cuteness. JC Penny. You can go to JC Penny. Bath and Body Works it is. I wonder why. Mix and match entire store. Once a year, buy three, get three free. That's why there's a line. There's a second Auntie Anne's pretzels location. So you can always get your pretzels. You can always get your cell phone repaired in the middle of the mall with knockoff parts. Is that going to be a thing anymore? Now that the iPhone is going to sell you parts to fix it yourself? Why no furniture? Right? Maybe they just open a little later. 10 a.m. They're gonna open in three minutes. There's no early sale for me for my youth bedroom. I didn't even want to go in, and now that I can't, I want to be in there. You can go in in three minutes. But I want to go in now. We did some scouting. Yeah, I think we should take a brief dive into J.C. This uh, mall has a Target, a, a J.C. Penney's, and a Macy's, and two Auntie Anne's. And a North and at Jordan's. I mean, this mall is, what happens is as all the other malls have closed, a few malls have like emerged as yeah. like survivors. And this is one of them. This is a phenomenon that we would never build into a new mall right here. You have a walkway from a parking lot in two directions comes into the middle. If you remember, it used to be one at the Swansea Mall in front of the Caldor. Get the same idea. It presumes a lot of traffic. Yes. John looks hesitant, like deeply hesitant. Deep like orange. maybe I shouldn't do it. I'm kind of comparing and contrasting to Macy's, which felt so Christmassy. The women in my life have always loved JC Penney's. I did. Come to JC Penney's for yeah. Black Friday when yeah. I was a kid. Oh yeah. oh yeah. There's not a single mention of the word Christmas in the store. It just says happy and joy. Yeah, happy, like joy, comfort, peace. This store, I don't want to go in this store. No? All right, yeah, let's get out of here. I went to a better version of the store. It's called Macy's. I, I mean, I have no idea like what's upstairs or like- Is any... there an upstairs? Yeah, the whole store is beeping. Yeah, it's like, it's beeping and it's cramped and it's crowded and the aisles are way too small. But the lines- Randomly the escalator. It looks like it funnels into a bathroom. Another secret escalator. This feels, this store feels like 2006. Before the Great Flood. They've restored it to pre-flood conditions. All right, it's a bit more 
more of overtly Christmas. You can get your iconic gaming setup. You know, you could be a pro gamer. 30 bucks, I can be a pro gamer. You get a, a karaoke mic and speaker. I remember there was a Full House episode where getting a karaoke machine was the big gift that they wanted. That seems like a lame gift. I think in, in the 90s it was like high-end electronic. Yeah. It's a percussion massager. It's very good for... Ooh. I would like one of those. And they're normally very expensive, like $130, like this was. For 80. A massaging weighted heating pad. So not only is it heat, but it also vibrates. It's 80 at Bed Bath and Beyond, and you can probably find a coupon for 20% off there. It's 80 at Kohl's. It's 81 at Home Depot. Look, this is what we've learned. It's just because the retail is dying doesn't mean the deals are good. Yeah, I mean this is a clear case of markup cut down. Ridiculously oversized bell. Ah, weak. Decorate your Christmas desk when like you feel like you have to decorate for the office. That's awesome. Or you're too lazy to pick everything up. You get a mini stocking, one tree topper, one little tree, some candy cane garland, some pom-pom garland. Just for my desk. 60% off of 30. How much, how cheap would it have to be for you to decorate your desk? I don't know, maybe like five bucks. I put my little tree up at work. I have a tree that I keep at work. It only has lights. I was kind of thinking about a toaster oven. I don't have one. So this is a good deal. It's probably $15 off Amazon price. But I already know what brand I want because I've researched. This is net. Oh, with $10 mail-in rebate. Mail Talk about old retail. I haven't participated in a mail-in rebate. That's something that definitely we did in like that the early 2000s. Like my father would put me in charge of writing out yes. all the rebate forms. Yes. Air fryers are just convection ovens. I have one. My microwave does that. I like watching John mount and dismount. I'm so worried that I'm going to step between steps. It could be bad. And then fall forward. You hear that lovely beeping? Doesn't that make you want to stay and browse? It makes you want to stay and browse. What do you think you'd have to do to rehabilitate JCPenney at this point? Close a bunch of locations, focus on the highest sellers, and redo the stores. Macy's isn't doing well either, and they look a hell of a lot better than that. JCPenney, or Target's the biggest thing, clearly. Golf Galaxy. Hold a pretty sizable Golf Galaxy. This there used to be a Dick's out there, wasn't there? Oh, a yeah. delicious Not Your Average Joe's. Yeah. Apple oh, Cinemas. Awesome. I watched an interesting company man on JCPenney's yeah. where for years the sales were the things that really excited people about yes. JCPenney's. Yep. And then they got a new CEO who said there's no more sales. They're just going to all be everyday low prices. Yep. And it killed the business. Yes. Because that was your clientele. People like playing love. games with stores. Oh, yeah. It was just exciting to see it go from 20, which we might have paid anyway, to 14. What does John think he's doing? He's about to cut through. Look at this. Look at cool this brown. chaos. Nina too? All right, me too. I like these young people eating on Auntie Anne's I do too. at a table. I've never been like from a mall into a furniture store. This is a new experience for me. And I kind of like nice furniture. It's like neutral pool table. What happens to like the green felt? It has to match with your, with your style at home. There's the Jordan's furniture with the mom experience. Yeah, I've never been to that. It feels so like wealthy. Wealthy? Like you didn't go to Ikea, you went to Jordan's. Yeah, this this is very posh. That's very 1980s to me. This appeals aggressively to me. This is like, I want this in a room. Yeah? Of my home. Oh, yes. Do you want to adopt an eight-year-old girl just to make this bedroom? Look, this you could have for any. I love anything with a back support because I like to lean up against things as I sleep. So this is massively appealing. A lot of times you have fold-out couches. Yeah. So it's a couch first and a bed second. Yeah. It's a couch first, a bed second. Yes. Which is, is very And a trundle third, Nina, trundle it. Wow. And then a friend can sleep over? Is it just for the friend or what is it? Yeah, just for friends. It is nice, but whatever happened to a good old sleeping bag for your friend? We remember, we, we are living rich here. This is not for the people who had to like give them a blanket and a pillow. Like I used to have to give to Gary. <laughs> TV's Gary got a blanket and a TV's pillow. TV's Gary got a Gary got a blanket, a pillow. He was happy about it. Do you think she would prefer a, a bunk? Because bunks are fun as hell. And look at this one's got steps. But that one's got a full size on the bottom. That's not saving me any space. I do love it, but I think it would crush under the extreme weight of me. You know the thing I love is there's no one here. Yes. This is like the most nice furniture shopping experience. There's no one bugging me. Yeah. There's a button over there I saw I could call. And furniture shopping, like car shopping, yes. attract sales representatives oh, rapidly. I don't want them anywhere near. Double right, full? Holy cow. We could get her a bunk bed and then hang up this ridiculous sign. All right, kids, here's John Cena's safety rules. Rule number 35 of John Cena's house rules clearly states no singing. Who took the elevator up? Bang. I mean, it's even padded for my pleasure. Ooh. I saw, like, the fake hedges, and I thought they were part of the furniture, like I saw it on that bed, and I thought it was the headboard, and I was like, what is that style? I kind of wish sometimes, like, I had really nice furniture, you know? Yeah. Get that wish? Oh, yeah. You look nice and cinched in. I am. I'm, I'm actually not. I don't feel bad at all. I you look secured. Nina, we need to buy this chest for coffee talk. Oh. <laughs>
having like a glass display cabinet is something that I was very interested in about three or four weeks ago. A and I've kind of fallen out of interest. Getting furniture in and out is just stupid. Nina found some kind of futuristic. Sort of Harley Davidson inspired. Actually, it's spectacular. Is it? Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. John won't like how lean back it is, but this is how I he drive might. on one of these obnoxious drivers. So I feel like I'm in the car. I might not get up from it. I, I might need like emotional mean, support. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you ready to go into space? Oh, there's one over there. We can have a conversation. Coffee time. It's actually not bad, though. But so I'd us. like to consider this chair for future purchase. <laughs> I love it. And you would buy it? I love it. What would you do in this chair? You're put, put a TV on the You're ceiling? And... Oh, does it come with a footstool? It's easy to fall in love with the most expensive chair in the place. There's your casting couch. How about that artwork behind you? Very nice. If I was in someone's house who was like this, I would be sitting like this. Yes. And they would be sitting like this. Smoking. Smoking. Nina, you do look pretty cool over there, I gotta tell you. How about some decorative aluminum so logs? Crazy. Your get up from a cozy position game is really improved. Thank you. I can sit like this. <laughs> oh my God. Get back up. Hey, see that? You see that? See, this is really my, like, welcome to my boring vanilla home. May I serve you a latte? If the furniture can hold me well, then it is good quality furniture. Yeah. Right? You know what today is? Black Friday. <laughs> deals. Are there deals? It's <laughs> 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 I didn't see any. They opened late and they, there's no deals. Yeah, but, well, I think they are opening late to send the message that we are not engaged with your silliness. Yeah, I think you're right. We're in a Black Friday freeze. This feels very, um, like, old psychiatry. Jordans. No Black Friday. We're now in the factory outlet. The problem with a lot of the furniture probably in the showroom is it'll take nine months to get here. But this stuff you can buy yeah, today. Yeah. Take it home. If it's already here in the U.S. I wonder if they didn't really have much of a factory outlet be until the shipping crisis, and they were yeah. like, we better do this. Yeah, we better get some some, some inventory people could buy. Yeah, this is very Cardi's. Yeah. Now you're just at Cardi's. <laughs> I'm at Cardi's. This does feel like furniture from three or four years ago. Yeah, well, it is. Anytime John sees a seat and a half. Oh, my God. I just made that your bitch. Have I shown you, there's like a swivel table that I put next to my couch. It's like a laptop swivel with a cup holder. Right now, I because I'm mostly in front of the TV, this is the sad reality of America today. I have to balance it kind of on the first shelf. Yeah, you don't need to do any of that. You're going to want to consult him on what he bought, because a lot of them are very flimsy or don't have like full, like nearly 360 movement. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty okay. It's like sitting. This yeah. is a lot like sitting. Bath and Body Works is the thing that had a giant line. I have a strict no more candles policy right now. I'm working my way through them. Zero tolerance. Cutting them down. Zero tolerance for candles. I gotta, I can't keep buying them. I love them. You just gotta cut through them a little faster than you cut through your wallets. You're right. I just put a new one into service. It's still got the tags. This fresh new one. Because if I pull off the tags, it'll rip it apart. Because it's 2002 material. Yes. What is going on here? Yeah, it's like they're showing the you the chairs you will experience now that they're redoing it. Hey, look, a Christmas to remember. That's literally, John, the Newport yeah. store that we went to. Was it really? Yes. Let's compare and contrast. It has no comparison to the beautiful Newport store. No, this is like pop-up. But look, you wind this up and it will play Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. How do you do it? Oh, you got to do it manually. You're playing it double time? It's actually a really nice arrangement, a really nice sounding box. Gloria can't get off of Jingle Bell's Batman Smells. It's a good thing to be stuck on. I do love the variety of ornaments, but I gotta say, like, it was so such a more enjoyable shopping experience in Newport that I'm a little, yeah. like, you know, kind of like... I'm with you. John won't like these because he doesn't like snowmen, but I think they're adorable. It is so similar to that one you bought. So yeah. it just goes to show your taste is the same as it was. But that one was nicer than me. I think I'm gonna get it. Yeah? Yeah. We have a sale? It's very nice. Of all the ornaments, I, I wouldn't have been like, oh, that's John. Yeah, I, well, I like it, and it's inexpensive. It's $7. Into Target we go. I have a serious critique about Target. When you want to buy something from it, yep. you can't get the hell out. Yeah, it's a serious problem. This just makes me say, yeah, I'm going to enjoy browsing, but I hope we don't buy anything. Yeah. Would you predict that it's the most popular store in the whole mall? I would guess, probably. I mean, Targets are very popular. I think this is a terrible way to store books no matter what. Right? This one is, like, weird. I have no clue or anything else. This is a little bit more of the Black Friday feel. The chaos? You know, this kind of thing right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a nice display. Look at this. It seems like it's a nice display piece, but tucked in a weird spot. I'm just going to tell you right now, though, I yeah. go to the Dartmouth one a lot. Their toy section doesn't compare to this. It's way smaller? Yeah, this is, like, like 
Toys R Us is moving in. Yeah, this is a, this is a large, large target. And I like how he looks sort of tentative. And the Baby Yoda merch is it's still around. It's re thought, reached a fever pitch. I thought it would have been gone by now, but it's everywhere. Oh no, it's far from gone. Baby Yoda is like the new Mickey Mouse. I, I, I the thing that I love is I don't think they had any idea. The customers don't have much respect for the merch either. True, is the problem. True. It's your limited selection of Blu-rays. Only the most popular stuff. Every time I'm ready to buy something for my Xbox One, yep. I discover that it's available for Switch. Yeah. And I can have an Xbox One game that's portable. Yep, exactly. Unless it's a premier title, like one of the main titles, which yeah, there's only a couple of. An exclusive. I got sales TVs over here, 58. I see entry. 58, I'm not interested. What do you want, 65? 77. All right, let's look for 77s. I don't think they're gonna have any here. That's like a Best Buy. You would get that in your living room, 77? Yeah, what I wanna do is I wanna upgrade to an OLED TV. It seems a little silly though, to just buy one that's the exact same size as what I have. So why not also go up a size step? What's the current size? 65. Even though I'm not likely to buy physical media for my video games, yep. they do start stocking this sort of thing and I always like to take a peek. See, this is what I'm talking about. You never quite know what you're gonna find in these sections. Like, what's this, the cool turtles thing? You get Cobra Kai, Donatello versus, who would have expected like an Ace Ventura animated series action figure? This place is definitely like the most Black Friday. It's chaotic, it's messy. I think your critiques of the bad fronting yeah. is almost like you forgot it was Black Friday. I kind of did. Bad fronting is a feature, yes, not a bug. Not a bug. If it wasn't so ridiculous checkout situation, I might grab a drink, but I'm not even gonna try. No, don't do it. This feels like old Kmart at the Harbor Mall. It totally does. You know, the way it connects back in. Yes. Nina seems to never miss an opportunity to go to a Nordstrom Rack. That we don't have them near us. It's like a TJ Maxx discount version of Nordstrom. Okay. It's basically their kind of overflow. A whole store of it. A whole store. And rest assured, it has that Burlington feel. Warehouse place. That's the shipping container. <laughs> I just unloaded it right on the floor. This really is the Burlington Co Factory experience. I, with the Nordstrom's name, I was expecting like high end, four steps up. The store's no appeal to me. Even if there is stuff in here for me, I wouldn't know how to find it. Yeah, you'd have to be searching for like 30 minutes. They don't rest. mind going like, hmm. Hmm, clothes. Hmm, men's clothes. There's not even any home section here like there's in a Burlington Co. Factory. I bet there's impulse stuff right at the top. Wanna go see? Yeah. Toaster oven. All right, that is legitimately excellent. A little teeny tiny toaster oven. Just sandwiches. That's kind of exactly what I want. How much? I can give this one to you for $24. Amazon. Look, I see a, a hand in a pocket that going for a phone. <laughs> Seems to be that price everywhere. There's not much to lug, it's just a little one. But look at this guy over here. Debating, Perseverating. Heat. No? Failed to check. Has no adjustable temperature, it's one temperature. Like if I wanna heat up a little bit of chicken, like or a leftover slice of pizza or something. A heated up slice of pizza in the microwave, I think sucks. Yeah, it's, it's just awful. But I'll heat it in the oven, but then you gotta wait 13 minutes for the oven to heat. Mm. And you waste a lot of energy, heat up the house. But without adjustable temperature, I can't, I can't be in it. The Bath and Body Works line continues. Yeah, and frankly, it's now 11 a.m. The whole place is pretty hopping. There's a videographer. Should we try to get interviewed? Let's do it. You do it. I'll do it. John's out of here. Could have been on the news. I would never want to be. Yeah, Toy Vault's right here out in front. Talking Power Rangers. There's 20% off all these things. 20% off small dumpster fires. There's not much. They have a very small plushie selection. I'm really into plushies. I love them, but they don't have it for me. I've been kind of wanting to collect the Koopa Kids. We don't have her, right? Or do we? I'm loving these massive Bebop and Rocksteadies. And look at these crazy $50 Power Rangers. A complete Zelda in box. Well, I'm with you. I didn't see anything interesting. Except they did have an HD to AV down converter. Mm -hmm which is kind of interesting to me because I wouldn't mind taking one of those NES or SNES minis and hooking it up to my CRT. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. Maybe. But you can get those, at, that's an Amazon item. Cheap, yeah. cheap, cheap. So the good news is they have vegan shakes. So Nina got one too. Oh. I got an Oreo. The bad news is it was $17 for our two shakes and a 10 minute wait with a thing that you gotta wait with. Upon ordering, they actually were like, so it's like $9 per shake, that okay? They actually like knew. Yeah, almost to say they like- They knew the highway robbery they were engaged in. Yeah. It's very, very good. It's got, it's made with oat milk and you can take, it does have like a little bit of like an oat yeah. taste. It's pretty good. We're made with like oat Yeah, I can very much taste that. It's a lot less thick than mine. All right, kids, I think that's it. I think Black Friday. I did have a great time. The blackest of Fridays. You went from skeptical to enthusiastic. I, I liked it a lot. Favorite store? Definitely the box lunch. This is a great mall in general. Yeah. If you want to come out here, shop here, and then go to Not Your Ever Joe's, that's really the that's the winning combination. No, that, that would be a combination to win. You still feel like this dude? Yeah, nice. <laughs>